What's your favourite cake? I like donuts. Ha! <laughs> oh! Are you still there? Hang on, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I couldn't see you through that jam splodge. Hmm, a splodge. <laughs> Lots of splodges. <laughs> Squillions of splodges! That gives me an idea. Ooh, let's try something. Try using splodges to make a gloopy glue stained glass pattern. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Four plastic cups. Four lolly sticks. Four different coloured poster paints. And lots and lots of gloopy white PVA glue. Whoa! Now, to make your gloopy glue pattern, like this one here, put a good splodge of glue in each cup, like this. Then put two splodges of paint in each cup. Use a different cup for each colour. Now, give them a mix with a lolly stick. Use a different lolly stick for each cup. Now, you need to ask an adult if you can use an old baking tray. Thanks! Right, let's get started. Now, pour a splodge of your painty gloopy mixture onto your tray. And then, make a pattern with your lolly stick. Now, put it in a warm place to dry for the day and then leave it overnight. Night! <sighs> Morning! Now that your splodge design is dry, put a thick layer of glue over the top. And then leave it to dry again overnight. Night! <laughs> Morning! Oh. Now, this is the exciting bit. Very carefully peel your splodge design away from the tray. Now be careful because you don't want to tear it. There! Not bad! A gloopy glue pattern. Go on, try it. You see, any splodge design can be a masterpiece. Yeah. Oh, no! Double donuts! I've done it again! <laughs> ah, yummy! <gasps> Oh, that's a lot of lolly sticks. I need to keep them more tidy. Hmm. hmm, this gives me an idea, though. Let's make something. A nifty house with a lolly stick roof to store your bits and pieces in. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> A piece of thin card from a cereal box. A tea bag box with a flippy lid. Some paint. And some lolly sticks. Whoa! Now, to make your house with a lolly stick roof like this, Make sure that your card is as wide as your box and twice as long as your lid. So that's as wide as your box, yes, and twice as long as your lid. One, two, perfect. Now, let's fold the card in half, like this, 
There we go. And when you open it up and turn it over, it makes a great roof shape. Now, for the roof, we need to stick on some lolly sticks. And I just happen to have some lying around here. Now, stick your lolly sticks both sides of the bend, like this. Now keep going until your roof is completely covered in lolly sticks. <laughs> now stick your roof onto your house at the front and at the back. Hold it in place and leave it to dry. Once it's dry, it's ready to paint. You can choose any colour you want. I'm going to do the roof blue. There! Now I'm going to do the walls orange. When you finish painting and it's dry, we need to add the windows and doors. Once your windows and doors are all painted and dry, you can really make them stand out with a black pen. There, a beautiful house to keep all your bits and pieces in. There, now you can paint your house any colour you like. The brighter the better. This one's got blue walls and a red roof. Let's take a closer look. Whoa! Wow, it looks great from down here. Why don't you have a tidy up and make a house with a lolly stick roof for yourself? Every time I pick an ice cream up, something silly happens that makes me drop it. But not today, no siree. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, it's happened again. Oh, yucky. My really bad luck with real ice cream has given me a really great idea. Let's make something. A bowl of brilliant fake ice cream that will never, ever melt. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Come on. Some sponges. A plastic bowl and a plastic spoon. Some paint and some gloopy PVA glue. A vacuum cleaner. Whoa! Whoa! No! We don't need that! Get back in there! Some colourful cake decorations. And finally, some corrugated card and some scissors. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Now, to make your very own bowl of fake ice cream, like this one here, take your scissors and trim your sponges into ball shapes. But be careful, because scissors are sharp. Ooh, yeah. Now, this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. When you've trimmed your sponges into shape, dab some gloopy glue onto them and stick them into an old plastic bowl. But make sure you've got permission to use it first. <laughs> the 
There! Now we need to paint our sponges a nice ice cream colour. Now, as I like mint flavoured ice cream, I'm going to use mint green paint. And now for the yummy chocolate sauce. Mix some brown paint with some gloopy glue. <laughs> Now we can pour this over our ice cream. <laughs> Fantastic! And I know what's going to make this look even more delicious. Cake decorations! Let's sprinkle some on. There, very nice. And how about a wafer? For that, we'll need some light brown corrugated card and we'll cut it into a triangle shape with one curved edge, like this. There! Now we can pop this into the bowl and leave the whole thing to dry. And now, as a finishing touch, all that's missing is a spoon. Just put a dab of gloopy glue on the back of a plastic spoon. Just a tiny bit, that's enough. And then you can pop it into the bowl and leave it to dry. Fantastic, look at that. It looks just like the real thing. And there are lots of other fake ice creams you can try too. How about a chocolate ice cream with a strawberry sauce that's made by painting the sponge balls brown and dribbling on pink paint? Or how about vanilla ice cream with strawberry sauce and chocolate cake decorations? Fake ice cream that looks so real, it's making me hungry! <laughs> so I'm going to give real ice cream another try. I'm sure I won't drop it this time. There's no one here but me and you. No banana skins on the floor. Nothing can stop me now! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Now, <laughs> do you know what day it is today? Well, I'll tell you, it's not my birthday. That's right. And even though it's not my birthday, I still think we should celebrate. So... Ta -da! <laughs> Look at this fantastic not my birthday cake. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though, it gives me a great idea. Let's make something. Make a delicious looking cake that's totally fake. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. Two big pink sponges and some strips of tissue paper. Some gloopy PVA glue. Some paints and a big brush. A ruler and a pen. Oh, now to make a fantastic fake cake like this tasty one here, we need to start off with a piece of pink sponge like this and using a pen and a ruler, we're going to draw a tall triangle that looks a bit like a piece of cheese. Now we're going to cut this triangle out, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Hey, oh. Now this is a little bit fiddly, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. Now draw around this sponge triangle onto another piece of sponge. Now we can cut this shape out as well very carefully. Next, we're going to make the sticky, gooey, fake cake filling. Paint on some red paint, first of all, to one of the sponge triangles. Now, we're just going to paint it along this edge here, like this. Now, don't worry if the paint dribbles a bit. It all adds to the effect. Now, do the same on the opposite edge. There, that's all the red done on that triangle. Then, on the other triangle, we're going to use a different colour. How about white paint for the creamy filling? 
Again, paint along two edges of your triangle, like this. Once both sponges are painted, brush on some gloopy glue to the top of the jammy triangle and stick on the creamy triangle so that the white edge meets the red edge like a sandwich. And there we have a cake. It's taking shape, isn't it? But now we need to make some icing. And for that, we need to take a piece of tissue paper and we're just going to scrunch and bunch it up. There we are, very loosely. And then we're going to take this side and just fold it into the middle like that. And then take this side and fold it into the middle as well. So it's all bunched together nicely. This is going to be the icing at the back of our cake. So let's bring our cake back in. Add on some gloopy glue here at the back. Then we can pick up our icing and place it on. There we go, that's the icing at the back. But how about some icing in the middle here? It's a circle shape. Now to make that, we need another piece of tissue paper. I'm going to scrunch and bunch it up again, this time a little bit more tightly. And then I'm gonna start twirling it round in a circle shape. Round and round it goes. It doesn't have to be neat. Yeah, a tissue paper circle. Add another dollop of gloopy glue and stick it on. Once your sponge is dry, it's time to use some more paint. But this time, it's to create the delicious icing on the back of the cake and on the top. Now, you can choose whatever colour icing you like, but I think we should do a nice white icing. So let's get a clean brush and let's get some gloopy paint. Now, it looks really good if your paint is nice and thick and gloopy like this. And when it's dry, doesn't it look fantastic? But there's one thing missing. It's the cherry on the top. Now, to make that, we need a square of red tissue paper like this. And we're going to scrunch it up into a ball. Here we go. Now, let's brush on some gloopy glue on top of our circle of icing. And then we can stick it on. <laughs> there we go. It's the cherry on top of the cake. Wow, look at it, a fake cake that's easy to make. And why not try some other spongy delights? Ooh. Why not try a slice of chocolate cake with pink icing and shiny beads? Or you could try making a whole cake using two large round sponges like this. Yes, all those fake cakes look fantastic. The only thing you can't do, of course, is eat them. Oh, it's minute make time. <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. It's a great game that looks like an ice cream cone. Let's give it a go. The idea being that you catch the ice cream in the cone. <laughs> and now to make this, you will need a pair of scissors, a brush, some gloopy PVA glue, some sticky tape, a sponge ball, a circle and a square of tissue paper and half a circle shape of paper or card. Oh, and not forgetting a little bit of wool. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can do it, Toki. I will have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Let's get our half circle of brown paper or card and make it into a cone shape like that. I'm going to stick it with some sticky tape. Yeah, that's in position. There's the cone. Now let's make the ice cream. That's the sponge ball, but we also need the circle of tissue paper. I'm just going to trim around the edges here to make it into a droopy, drippy looking sauce. There we go. Be careful! Round and round. I'm being careful, Toki. Don't you worry. There we go. Let's get some gloopy glue on our ball now. There we go, on the top there. Put plenty on. And then stick our sauce on the top. There we go. Then let's scrunch up the red piece of tissue paper. That's going to be a cherry on the top. There we go, there's the cherry. And then let's get the wool. Stick that inside the cone, like that. Stick the wool to the ball and then you're ready to play! 
That was close! <laughs> yes, that was close, but it makes a game that looks good enough to eat! Can I eat it? No, you can't, Toki. This isn't for eating. It's for playing with. So let's have a game. Here we go. <coughs> oh, I did it. And if you've got more than a minute, you could try some other ideas. <coughs> oh, how about a mint ice cream with painted chocolate drops and a pom-pom chocolate on top? Oh, or you could even make it into a flower by adding some paper petals around the cone. Fantastic games made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll half a circle of brown paper or card into a cone shape and stick it together. Trim the pink tissue paper circle into a wobbly sauce shape and then glue it onto the sponge ball. Scrunch up the red tissue paper and glue it on top for the cherry. Tape one end of the wall to the cone and the other to the sponge ball. And your ice cream cone game is finished! Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Ah. Oh, delicious! <laughs> Lovely! Ooh. Oh no! Oh, oh, what a mess! Oh, I tell you what though, this has given me a great idea. Let's make something. Fool your friends into thinking you've made a mess by making this fantastic fake spilt drink. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> Some gloopy PVA glue, some sticky backed plastic, and some cardboard. Some red modelling clay, a paintbrush, and a straw. A plastic glass, and some paint. Oh, now to make your very own hilarious spilt drink, like this one here. You first have to mix up a drink coloured mixture. Now you can choose whatever colour you like, but I think that a strawberry milkshake will look rather good. Now to make that mixture, you need a cup, add red paint, and the same amount of white paint, and then on top of that, a good squirt of gloopy glue. Now let's give it a mix. That looks all nicely mixed up. A nice pink milkshake mixture. Let's put that to one side at the moment. And we're going to bring in our piece of cardboard. There we are. Now we take our sticky backed plastic and we're going to put this on top of the cardboard. Now here's a good tip. If you just fold back just the top edge of the backing of the sticky back plastic, this will help you stick it on. So we can line it up with the top of the cardboard and then smooth it down like that. <laughs> now this is a bit fiddly, so it's a good idea to ask an adult to help you. That top bit stuck down and now I'm going to hold that top bit with one hand and then with the other hand reach underneath and pull away the rest of the backing. That looks really good, which means we can bring back in our milkshake mixture. Now we're going to pour a good dollop of this, almost all of the mixture, but not quite all of it. Now you can take a paintbrush, turn it upside down and use the other end to drag through the paint to make it look like your milkshake mixture has spilt everywhere. Excellent! Now using the rest of your painty mixture, we're going to paint a dribbly spill shape on the inside of a plastic milkshake glass. And when you've finished that, you can bring back in your spill <laughs> and push the plastic glass actually into the spill like that touching it so it looks like the glass has been knocked over. Now how about we add a straw as well. Here's a curly plastic one. And just pop that into the spill as well. And to really finish it off, we can use a ball of red modelling clay. Now this is going to be a cherry. <laughs> Let's pop that in 
as well. It looks like someone has just knocked over a milkshake. <laughs> Who would be silly enough to do that, eh? <laughs> now it's all finished, we can leave it to dry overnight. Good night. <laughs> Morning. When it's completely dry, you can very carefully peel your spilt drink off the sticky backed plastic, and it's all finished. Doesn't it look realistic? It's a spilt milkshake without the mess, and it's good enough to fool your friends. How about trying some other ideas too? You could try a chocolate milkshake with a corrugated cardboard flaky chocolate. Or even a pint of spilt milk using a clean plastic milk bottle and a white paint mixture. What fantastic makes, eh? And to celebrate, I'm going to treat myself to a lovely new drink, but this time it's a real one. I think I deserve it. <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant when friends pop up out of nowhere to surprise you. I know just what you mean, Mr oh. Maker. <laughs> Me too. Ooh. And having all these Mr Makers pop up at once gives us a, a great, great idea. Hmm, let's try something. Try making a pop-up picture that will surprise your friends when they open it. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the Doodle Drawers. Some thick paper or some thin card. Some coloured pens and a pencil. A ruler and some scissors. And a glue stick. Now, to make a pop-up picture like this one here, first we need to fold a thick piece of paper or a thin piece of card in half. And then just pop it to one side and get another piece of card. If I put my ruler on the bottom of the page and then draw across that, that should be just about right. Now, you can draw whatever you want to pop up on top of this line. You can choose whatever you like. But as it's nearly my birthday, I'm going to draw a cake. Yeah, oh, yummy. <laughs> so let's draw a cake shape on this line. Let's draw the bottom of the cake like this. And it's got a bit of a wiggly line on top of it, like that. Because, of course, that's the cake's filling, the jam. And then, of course, another layer of sponge. You've got to have another layer of sponge, haven't you? Here it goes on top, like that. And this has got a wobbly line on top of it as well, because this is the top of the cake, which is the icing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's put plenty of icing on. Let's put some candles on top of the cake. Let's put the cake on a plate. And then put the whole thing on a tabletop. I need my ruler for this bit. Draw a line on that side and then a line on the other side as well. So our cake is on a table. And when you're happy with your picture, you can start colouring it in. <laughs> now we need to cut our cake out along the top edge of the table and around the outside of the cake. But be careful when you do this, because scissors are sharp. Quite, quite careful. <laughs> Now we're going to fold our cake shape in half, like this. Over it goes. And if we open it up, we get a fold line there. Nice. Now very carefully with our scissors, we need to make a little snip up from the bottom along that line, just a little one. And then if we turn the cake over, we can make some flaps by folding up here and here. Now we can stick our cake into our card that we folded earlier by gluing along these flaps. Open up the card and then stick the cake into the card 
by putting it in its pop-up position and lining up the folds together like that. And if you then close the card, it'll all stick into place. And when it's dry, you can open it up and ta-da! It's a pop-up picture. Fantastic. There are lots of other ideas you can try too. You could do a boat picture sailing on a wavy sea. Or maybe even a crazy monster picture with a funny face and lots of teeth. Pop-up pictures, perfect for when you want something to pop up and surprise you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> do you know, I couldn't have put that any better myself. <laughs>